The Quivic Crypto Project is an amazing project with some absolutely extraordinary claims. You really have to see them to believe them. Check out this video as I go through some of the good, bad and the ugly of this amazing crypto project and why I think it could be disruptive. Let's talk a little bit about what the Quivic blockchain actually is. They build themselves as a brand new layer one blockchain, so that's kind of equivalent to Ethereum or Solana, some of the big names out there. What Quivic wants to do is to solve some of the challenging problems that the crypto world's currently experiencing. Things like transaction speeds and what to do with all of the energy that gets wasted with the proof of work concepts that are currently used for something like blockchain. As we go through this video, you'll start to see that they're proposing some really extraordinary claims and what's interesting will be to see if they're able to back it up with actual technological progress. So let's go into it a little bit more. The first truly innovative and what I believe the most disruptive part of their whole project is their proposal for a useful proof of work system in order to secure the blockchain. For those of you who know, proof of work is a way that a lot of blockchains use to secure their network by solving arbitrary challenging problems in order to allow people to write blocks to the network. However, in recent times it's become apparent that this approach, while interesting when it started, wastes a lot of energy for stuff that is actually pretty useless. The problems that are getting solved don't actually contribute anything to literally anyone other than writing blocks to the network. What Quivic proposes with their useful proofs of work is to actually take this compute power and wrap it up in some of the AI training that we're currently experiencing. Now in 2024 when I made this video, there's a lot of news around large language models. And where this gets interesting is that the, many of the large corporations in the world spend hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, training their networks. And they need some really, really powerful compute power in order to do so. In fact, NVIDIA recently became a $3 trillion company on the back of their ability to provide the best GPUs in the world for training these networks. What Quibic proposes is to develop a way that anybody who has a computer is able to plug into their network and use their compute power to solve that the problems that are needed for things like large language models and what's called artificial neural networks. What's fascinating about this is if you can imagine a network all over the world that's comprised of people with computers like you or me or someone else that you know, and this network is helping to build the world's next largest AI model. That's kind of where they're trying to go with that. And it's not super clear in their documents, which I'll get to a bit later, but I think that has the potential to change everything. The second big claim from Quibic is that they believe they can get to 55 million transactions per second on their layer one blockchain. Now to put that into perspective, something like Solana, which is currently considered to be the fastest kind of well-known blockchain in the world, can achieve a theoretical maximum speed of 65,000 transactions per second. And people are super excited about that. Quibic proposes to do something that's nearly three orders of magnitude bigger than this. And it's a huge claim. I mean, if they can pull it off, you could literally have Visa, all of Ethereum, all of MasterCard, all of Solana. You could literally just have everything on there all the time. I mean, 55 million transactions per second is pretty insane. Now, unfortunately, which we'll talk a little bit when I get into the bad and the ugly parts of the project, there's no real background on how they're gonna achieve this. So for now, I'm putting it down as this would be awesome if it can happen, but I probably need to see a little bit more on it. The rest of the key features for Quebec are pretty much standard, or at least they're nothing revolutionary. I think the first two that I've mentioned are really the ones where I'm like, if this can happen, it could be a game changer. They have things like fearless transactions and offline transactions, and they claim that they'll be able to do some stuff with oracles. And that's really awesome, but I think ultimately, the question of Quebec and its long-term value is going to be in those two things, useful proof of work and their 55 million transactions per second. So let's get into the project a little bit more. Firstly, I really like that they're not afraid to make such bold and somewhat outrageous claims. I mean, 55 million transactions per second is huge. And I love that they're putting it out there and working towards it. The second thing I loved about this project is how active the community was. Their Discord channel has over 44,000 people and there's always people there willing to help or participating or getting involved in it. And it just shows such a health for that project. In my opinion, that's a huge plus. The third thing I really loved about this project is their GitHub. It is super active with multiple commits happening every day. I really feel like that's important because to achieve these incredible and like gigantic goals, I mean, there's a lot of work to be done and it's great to see that they're contributing towards it. My major complaint for this project is around the documentation. 
Now, normally I wouldn't ping uh, such an early stage idea or project for their documentation, but I think it needs to be said for this one and I'll explain it a little bit. The project is making some really, really big claims about what they're trying to do. They're talking about, you know, three orders of magnitude more transactions per second than anyone else has managed so far. And they're also talking about the ability to do a completely new proof of work system and a bunch of other things. And when you go to the documentation and you go to things like their milestones and that sort of stuff and it's empty, well, it really calls into question what they're actually doing. I really feel like for this project, for them to really like go to the next level, they really need to sort that out and explain what they're doing some more. Also think like having a helpful guide on like walking through their code would be pretty cool, but I mean, that's just for me talking as a developer, not really as anything else. So those are the two things that I think need work for this project. Overall, I'm really excited by this project. I can't wait to see what the team delivers. I think it's got a huge amount of potential and I really feel like they're useful proof of work. Well, I mean, I really feel like that could be quite disruptive for the whole world, not just for crypto. So I'm keen to see where it ends up.